so of all the many chapters that we have discussed one common theme that we have noticed is we're focusing a lot on appearances that in our life we give too much of uh, focus on that that uh, yes you should be good looking you should be smart only then you're going to succeed in life and uh, sometimes yes what we look like might not be what we are i think so they've gone to their classes now so there'll be silence like uh, in the poem a tale of uh, custard the dragon yeah custard is there such a big huge dragon but he's very timid he's very cowardly okay and the thing is if you are big and strong it does not mean you keep on shouting and showing your strength and force over others it is when the need when the occasion arises that is when you can be you know your courageous self and in difficult circumstances how you behave how you react that is what actually matters irrespective of your size and your physique or your structure isn't it right then yes the chapter that we finished a few days ago that was uh, even in the hack driver so the hack driver there someone very uh, polite and uh, very helpful very cooperative and telling so many stories but uh, he took everyone for right isn't it right so appearances are not everything we uh, even uh, the necklace chapter that we finished how madam lozel she wanted to look pretty and beautiful and in fact she went to such an extent that she ended up creating problem for herself and her family also so they lost you can say 10 important years of their life 10 years they took to repay the loan and they could have avoided that if she had not insisted so much that i have to have a jewelry to wear and uh, yes yeah, so she selected a diamond necklace and uh, she was not aware of it that it was not a real necklace it was a fake necklace but because uh, of her maybe uh, what uh, you can say the foolishness yes or what she wanted to wear they ended up losing a lot of time money and everything now here in this chapter also there's a story about bholi a small girl and uh, from a village we're going to talk about that how is it that uh, are the village people better off in the thinking or is it the city folk who are how they don't follow customs and traditions old customs and traditions like what caste system is not there in the cities kam hota hai okay discrimination kam hai and in the villages it is more okay what else is there dowry system but don't you see uh, feel the marriages which are there in the cities they are much more lavish and bigger and how much money people spend and in the villages or in the small towns there will be simpler ones Yes, so right, it is what waste showing off, right? And uh, what about uh, education? I I think there are some things which need to be followed uh, everywhere. It is there. So we are giving importance to the girls' education. It should be there also. What about the safety of the girl child? Is it an issue in places in cities as well as village? Village में थोड़ा कम है safety का. सेफ है कि नहीं है टेल मी यस व्हाट व्हाट यू हैव टू से सिटी दे मोर सेफर इन द सिटीज दे लेस सेफर इन द सिटीज दे मोर सेफर इन द विलेज इज इट ट्रू यस राघव व्हाट दे आर नॉट सेफ एनीवेयर एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट बिकॉज़ व्हाट इज इट हियर what needs to change a mentality the way we approach yes and uh, what about gender discrimination gender discrimination gender is on the basis of 
six, right? Male, female, how we treat them. So do you think gender equality is here in the city? How? Villages mein nahi Gender. And uh, what if I say it's in both places? See, it, it does not matter whether you are from the village or uh, you're from the city, but uh, what needs to matter is the way you think. It is your approach. It's your attitude. So certain things, uh, yes, no matter how grown up we might become or how educated we are or how aware we are, there are certain things that need to be changed. What about female feticide? What is female feticide? The killing of the girl child? So if you're killing the girl child, where is equality? Isn't it? Right? So still in some places it is happening. And still it is there. Right? No, no, no doubt stricter measures are there. Right? Uh, yes. Yeah, so, but still people, they do find a way. What about sending the girls for higher studies, for higher education? More in cities, less uh, over there in villages, right? And do you think in villages there are enough uh, opportunities for getting a higher education? So boys will go out of the village. They might go to town or the nearby city to get an education. Will parents send their girl, child? No, they'll feel uh, insecure about her safety. They'll worry that where is she going to stay, how she's going to travel so far. So, so many things. These concerns are in the city also. Right? These concerns are in the city also. Right? So, we're worried about the safety. We, we worry about I'm going to send my child to, you know, like Mumbai or Delhi or Bangalore or maybe Canada, wherever to study. And we have that fear in our mind. Isn't it? Right? So, these are the things that we really need to change. So one issue that we are going to discuss in this chapter, Bholi, let us see here, that she was neglected right from the beginning. Neglected means not taken care of, okay? Right, so she was there. And why was she neglected? And how did Bholi become so strong, right? Yes, so we're going to read this story. So why is Bholi's father worried about her? For what unusual reason is Bholi sent to school? Her name was Sulekha. But since a child, everyone had been calling her Bholi, the simpleton. Bholi, what is Bholi? Simple person. So they just kept her calling her Bholi only. Her real name was? Sulekha, Harjobar, look at your book and you can talk later. Okay. She was the fourth daughter of Nambardar Ramlal. So it's like a post, you know, there's a village, Mr. Sarpanch, and or, so like that, the Nambardar Ramlal. When she was 10 months old, she had fallen off the cot on her head and perhaps it had damaged some part of her brain. Poor thing. So when she was 10 months, she fell off the bed of the cot and she hurt her head. So it seems as if her brain was also damaged a little bit. That was why she remained a backward child and came to be known as Bholi, the simpleton. Backward child, she was not as smart as the others. You know, like uske age ke jitne children, like they would have that development and growth. She was not as developed. Okay, so she was not as smart. Why? Because she had hurt her Head. So her growth was slower than children of her age. And that is why she was called Bholi. She's a simple person, Bholi. At birth, the child was very fair and pretty. But when she was two years old, she had an attack of smallpox, a disease, right? Only the eyes were saved. So marks you would get because of the smallpox. But the entire body was permanently disfigured by deep black pock marks. So, right, when she was two years old, she had smallpox. And marks were all over her body. So, she was fair and pretty when she was born. But at the age of two, she had a disease. Little Suleika could not speak till she was five. Otherwise, children, they start speaking, right? And uh, they don't stop. 
so yeah so she started late at 5 because she was slow in her growth and when at last she learned to speak she stammered stammered kya hota ruk ruk ke bolna yeah not very uh, confident there the other children of often made fun of her and mimicked her how bad they copied her as a result she talked very little and you know if you have a stammering problem you should speak you should be encouraged to speak only then you going to get that confidence right so you'll overcome yeah. but poor thing you think too many things have happened with her yes so what are the things that have happened to bholi when she was 10 months old she fell down and she damaged her brain then she had smallpox so because she was slow in her growth and development she stammered a little isn't it right so yes and because she used to stammer the other children they used to make fun of her fir then wo jitni baat karti thi utna bhi she didn't speak right so she spoke very little ram lal had seven children three sons and four daughters and the youngest of them was bholi big family isn't it right so it was a prosperous farmer's household and there was plenty to eat and drink so of course nowadays we do worry about expenses so much you need uh, so many gadgets and the fee and everything here but he was in the village and they had a land and uh, so no need to worry about feeding the children all the children except bholi were healthy and strong the sons had been sent to the city to study in schools and later in colleges of the daughters radha the eldest had already been married the second daughter mangala's marriage had also been settled and when that was done ram lal would think of the third champa they were good looking healthy girls and it was not difficult to find bride grooms for them see the boys have been sent to study and the girls have got married how stereo typical isn't it right now yes yeah, so three of the daughters are going to get married and the fourth one was bholi but ramlal was worried about bholi she had neither good looks nor intelligence how is he going to find a match for her and i i don't know why parents worry so much about their children getting married yes bholi was 7 years old when mangala was married because she was the smallest the same year a primary school for girls was opened in their village so do you think her daughter uh, sisters were educated no because the school was not there then the tehsildar sahib an important official tehsildar came to perform its opening ceremony he said to ramlal as a revenue official you are the representative of the government in the village and so you must set an example to the villagers you are an official right and you have to give an example to the other villagers you must send your daughters to school that night when ramlal consulted his wife she cried are you crazy if girls go to school who will marry them padhi likhi hai who is going to marry them kya pata the grooms se zyada padhi likhi ho to then how is she going to find a match right so right this is one thing yeah what did people think about education why they didn't educate the girls maybe it would be difficult to find an educated boy for them right so yes yeah, so who will marry them but ram lal had not the courage to disobey the tehsildar his senior had told him at last his wife said i will tell you what to do send bholi to school as it is there is little chance of her getting married poor thing with her ugly face and lack of sense let the teachers at school worry about her so we send her to school the teachers can worry about her as it is there's hardly any chance that she's going to find uh, you know like uh, we're going to get a suitable match for her bad isn't it very bad right so to think about that and uh, to think of their daughter as a burden so by chance you know it was her luck that bholi was sent to school so it was an official who made the request and uh, so bholi got a chance to go to school the next day ramlal caught bholi by the hand and said come with me i will take you to school 
Bholi was frightened. She's never been to, you don't know what a school is. She did not know what the school was like. She remembered how a few days ago, the old cow, Lakshmi had been turned out of the house and sold. He never came back. I'm also going to school. What is there in the school? What if I don't come back? What I'm left there only? No, no, no. She shouted in terror and pulled her hand away from her father's grip. She's scared. What's the matter with you, you fool? Shouted Ramlal. I'm only taking you to school. Then he told his wife, let her wear some decent clothes today or else what will the teachers and the other schools think of us when they see her? Because the teachers have to see, because other people have to see, so Bholi is being dressed up. Otherwise, she was a neglected child. Nobody paid much attention to her. New clothes had never been made for Bholi. The old dresses of her sisters were passed on to her. And it was quite common, you know, like if you talk to your grandparents and all, they'll tell you that, yeah, the, even the books would pass on from one sibling to the next. The clothes also, right? Abhibhi? Books, of course, definitely there. Clothes also. So, right. And uh, nowadays, uh, the thing is, we have so many clothes. So, even if uh, it is passed on, I don't think so. They have faded out. But earlier it was, yeah. So, the big families. So, it was there. Okay. So, the bigger one, maybe elder one getting new clothes and the younger ones having to manage with the old ones. So, the new clothes had never been made for Bholi because she was the youngest. The old dresses of her sisters were passed on to her. No one cared to mend or wash her clothes. Loose hair to let it be. Bade hair to let it be. You know, poor thing. She was not taken much care of. But today she was lucky to receive a clean dress which had shrunk after many washes and no longer fitted Champa. Who was Champa? Her sister? Yes. So she got one of her dress. Who shrink ho gaya. And because it would not fit her, so Bholi got this new dress, nice dress. She was even bathed and oil was rubbed into her dry and matted hair. Only then did she begin to believe that she was being taken to a place better than her home. So when she was washed and cleaned, she was like, I will be good place where I am. They are making me so presentable. When they reached the school, the children were already in their classrooms. Ram Lal handed over his daughter to the headmistress. Left alone, the poor girl looked about her with fear-laden eyes. There were several rooms, and in each room, girls like her squatted on mats, reading from books or writing on slates. See, there's no furniture. And earlier, where would children sit? Yes, on the mats, on the floor only. And they would write on their slates. And uh, after that, they would clean it and write again on that, so with a chalk. The headmistress asked Bholi to sit down in a corner in one of the classrooms. So this was her first day at school. Bholi did not know what exactly a school was like and what happened there. Why wasn't she aware of what a school was? No one, you know, like her sisters were not sent to school. So she didn't know, know what a school was and what happened there. But she was glad to find so many girls almost of her own age present there. She hoped that one of these girls might become her friend. The lady teacher who was in the class was saying something to the girls, but Boli could understand nothing. She looked at the pictures on the wall. The colors fascinated her, like here you have all these charts and everything. The horse was brown, just like the horse on which the Tehsildar had come to visit the village. The goat was black, like the goat of their neighbor. The parrot was green, like the parrot she had seen in the mango orchard. And the cow was just like the Lakshmi. And suddenly, Bholi noticed that the teacher was standing by her side, smiling at her. So she's looking at the pictures, and she's surprised that even in the school, the things are the same as she has seen around her. So she can recognize uh, things, natural pictures, of course she can, and she's surprised that the color is also the same, right? Or what she has seen. What's your name, little one? Bha, Bho? She could stammer no further than that. She's so scared. 
Then she began to cry and tears flowed from her eyes in a helpless flood. How many of you cried in the first day in school? Do you remember your first day in school? You didn't cry? Anybody cried? Everybody cries on the first day. No, not necessarily. Some people are very brave on their first day. Yes. So poor thing, she also, because it's a new place. Yes. So it's a new place, right? You are there surrounded uh, by uh, what these strangers and the new faces you're seeing, little boys and girls like you, teachers new to you, and you're away from the comfort of your home. So she was crying. She kept her head down as she sat in a corner, not daring to look up at the girls who she knew were still laughing at her. She couldn't speak her name. She started crying and uh, she was not looking up now because she felt the girls were laughing at her. When the school bell rang, all the girls scurried out of the classroom. They hurried out in a rush to go home, but Bo Boli dared not leave her corner. Her head still lowered, she kept on sobbing. Boli, the teacher's voice was so soft and soothing. In all her life, she had never been called like that. It touched her heart. Nobody had spoken to her so politely, so nicely. Get up, said the teacher. It was not a command, but just a friendly suggestion. Boli got up. Now, tell me your name. Sweat broke out over her whole body. Would her stammering tongue again disgrace her? For the sake of this kind woman, however, she decided to make an effort. She had such a soothing voice. She would not laugh at her. So because people would laugh at her, so she never made any effort to speak. But the teacher here was speaking so nicely and she wants to speak, right? So she wants that her tongue should not... Uh, you know, disgrace her, she should be able to say her name. Again, bo, 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 she began to stammer. Well done, well done, the teacher encouraged her. Come on now, the full name, Bholi. At last she was able to say it and felt relieved as if it was a great achievement. It was a great achievement. Well done, the teacher patted her affectionately and said, Put the fear out of your heart and you'll be able to speak like everyone else. So, right, so you have to be brave. Don't be bothered about what people are going to say. Bholi looked up as if to ask, really? Yes, yes, it will be very easy. You just come to school every day, will you? Bholi nodded. No, say it aloud. The teacher wants us to speak. So she becomes confident. Yes. And Bholi herself was astonished that he, she had been able to say it. Didn't I tell you? Now take this book. The book was full of nice pictures and the pictures were in color. Dog, cat, goat, horse, parrot, tiger, and a cow just like Lakshmi. Seems she's very attached to Lakshmi, isn't it? And with every picture was a word in big black letters. She could not recognize the letters. In one month, you'll be able to read this book. Then I will give you a bigger book. Then still a bigger one. In time, you'll be more learned than anyone else in the village. Then no one will ever be able to laugh at you. People will listen to you with respect. And you will be able to speak without the slightest stammer. Understand? Now go home and come back early tomorrow morning. Bholi felt as if suddenly all the bells in the village temple were ringing and the trees in front of the schoolhouse had blossomed <coughs> into big red flowers. Her heart was throbbing with a new hope and a new life. Any doubts about this story? No doubts. It's a simple story. Bholi story. Yes. And uh, right here. Do you think the attitude of the teacher was very important? Yes. yes. So what if the teacher had not been kind and caring? Yes. Then Bholi would not have uh, decided to study. But because the teacher was very kind and understanding, gave her attention, and requested her to come back to 
school the next day. So yes, so definitely she is going to. We'll end here for today. Yes, and we'll continue on.